Quell Knight is the creative mind behind many of Beyonce's iconic performances. He's worked with her for years, and he's been dancing his entire life. I remember dancing in my grandmother's living room at the age of four and five, copying the things I saw on TV. As I got older, I remember copying all the major iconic um, MTV award shows, uh, performances, your know, Soul Train performances. And then when I was 16, I started my own dance group with my best friend in Atlanta. So that was kind of the first serious step towards choreography and creative direction. At just 18, Jaquel landed a gig choreographing one of the best videos of all time. Single ladies. Frank Gatson Jr., who was choreographer and creative director for Beyonce and Destiny's Child for, you know, ages. He was actually working on Michelle Williams' debut project. In the process of that, he was like, wow, you know how to teach, you know how to deal with people, you lead really well, you know, how about you come on board and help choreograph the video with us? And then next week he was like, can you come choreograph the entire promo tour for her? And then a few months went by, he called, was like, yo, I have this Beyonce record, can you fly to New York tonight? And I was like, yo, I just got the call, go to New York tonight, Beyonce! <laughs> yeah. Got to New York, the record was single ladies. Once getting in this space with her, you know, um, I'm starting to dance with her and see how she thinks and move through the project and how she see things in her head, you know, I was completely blown away. Ten years later, Jaquel and Beyonce teamed up for yet another iconic performance. They incorporated homecoming moves made popular by historically black colleges and universities. You know, that was a thing that Beyonce kind of woke up with one day and was like, yo, let's do this homecoming experience. You know, the research behind it, you know, we went back and watched, you know, football games. You watch homecomings, um, so many probates. We watch fraternities in the club, we watch sororities. Um, we watched a load of just black college experiences and um, that kind of got in the mindset of creating the right energy. I wish I could count the hours, you know, that went into it, you know, but we worked for like five to six months on it. Working with B during the rehearsal process is like, it's kind of an outer body experience. You know, people don't understand the amount of effort. Her work ethic is out of this world. And it's never just one thing. You know, when we're creating choreography, it's okay, boom, where's wardrobe at? You know, bring them in so they can see what the choreography is. Okay, boom, where are we on the stage? You know, let's make sure lighting knows how to like this, boom, where are the cameras? Okay, let's look at this camera and then do this. You know, we're always thinking of every single piece of the puzzle. So just to see that her mind understands every part of putting a show together and she remembers and she know all of her marks and she know all of her lyrics and how she's gonna sing everything. You know, she's really in there getting it, you know, asking questions. You're doing it a hundred times, you know. Um, so we spend a lot of time in in the dance studio making sure that these things come off feeling like nothing. 